Welcome, everybody. It is Crypto Moose, and it's time to get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. What we're going to do on this episode is go over Cornucopias, also known as Kopi. So this is by far my um, favorite gaming project. So we're going to get into what is Kopi. I want to talk about why I believe this is the greatest opportunity in crypto gaming. So if you do get something out of this, make sure to smash the subscribe button, like the video and comment down below. So we have a lot of videos coming out every week around three to five on a minimum and up to seven to 10 on the week. So what we're gonna do is go to cornucopias.io. That's gonna be the first website. Before we get into the player's account, let's start off by answering what is Cornucopias? So the reason I'm doing this video is because I do believe in the team, I believe in the community that it's built. And when I think about the metaverse, I personally think about Cornucopias, also known as Kopi Token. So let's read this right here on their website. So enter the vast open world of Cornucopias and it is vast. I do hear about how amazing and how big the world is. And by the way, I started investing in this project I believe it was a year and a half ago. So I've been very bullish. Those are the bubble jets, by the way. Um, so Cornucopias, it's an MMORPG where player-driven economies and a thirst for adventure rule the bubble verse. Develop your skills as a trader, artisan, or entrepreneur. As you explore the Cornucopian land masses enclosed in floating domes thousands of meters high, challenge other players to mini games, create digital assets, that you actually own, which is cool. That's part of the NFTs, right? You have a non-fungible asset that you can hold in your wallet. Um, and this game is not just on Cardano, it's on, um, you can pick up tokens and assets with base now for the um, node specifically. Um, there's going to be vehicle sales for Ethereum. So this is not chain agnostic, very cool. Again, challenge other players to mini games, create digital assets that you actually own and discover the truth behind what awaits you behind the domes. So you guys can check out the four game trailer. I recommend checking out other videos here on the channel. Um, and this game is built and being developed using Unreal Engine 5. And that's what I like a lot about this. This is not your you know, sandbox looking game or Decentraland, this is exceeding those expectations. So this is not a small venture. This is an open world game. When I think about the metaverse, I think about cornucopias. So that's one of the major reasons why I am so bullish and why I cover it because I believe in this project. So I've seen it, um, it's been over a year now that everything has just started to pan the way I thought it would. So if you guys want, go to cornucopias.io. And what I recommend is that you create your player's account. So that's going to be in the top right. So I am going to log out. And to give you an idea, you're going to go to cornucopias.io, go to account, and this is the best place to start. Once you're there, all you're going to do is click on register. And after you register, you will be able to log in. So I'll share with you what that looks like. We are logged into our account. So here we've got a nice overview. So here it shows that I can access the desktop launcher. So I use a Mac, I have an iMac. So currently if you wanna play the game, you have to be using a PC. So perhaps down the road, they will change that. Um, or the moose is gonna to have to get loose. He's gonna to have to build one. So I did update my profile picture, no more Charles. Um, game testing, no access, so the requirements, let's get into that right here. Once we click on that, you can see the early access pre-alpha, how to play. So qualifying game assets, NFTs, so we will cover this in this video. We will go over the different assets that you can pick up, the in-game assets in the form of NFTs. I'll show you how and where you can go to pick these up. So currently I own a ton of bubble jets. That's for the racing game. It's also a vehicle that you can use and you can add or bring on some cargo. Um, and there are tons of other things like land that's going to be for Solus and you got your domes, etc. So really cool. So you guys can check out that chart. 
So supported GPUs. So if you click here, you can see what kind of uh, graphics card you will need. So if you guys take a look here, the current phase is early access pre-alpha testing. The current testing PC laptop GPU requirements, we have a list down below. So if you do want to test out the game, you do have to make sure that you have one of these required GPUs. So feel free, check that out. If you take a look at the current testing groups and NFT role access, what this is, is different roles. So for example, I have been participating in the Discord and I've already linked up my wallet. So make sure that you do that if you want to get access to certain things. So if we take a look, I do have a couple of these roles, I'm sure. Um, large custom dome mythic, etc. So it does help to have all of this. Current testing servers, there's one in North America, one in Europe, and they have some dates here um, that have been for the testing. So early access pre-alpha, let's get spatial. So that's for the Kaleido, that is basically the most recent, that was March 2nd. So today we are Wednesday, March 27th of 2024. We have a lot to go over in this video, so let's keep it going. Let's dive further into Cornucopias, including their land economy and some of their in-game assets. So if you go to cornucopias.io, you will see this go to sale, view the deck for their file nodes. We'll talk about that towards the end of this particular section. And what I wanna do first is go to jpeg.store. And if we go to the search and type in Kopi, you're gonna see a list of all these different assets. So we've got the land zones for one and three, the domes, we got the bubble jet sprinters, and here we've got the Raceworks T3. So this is the fastest vehicle in the game. Very affordable right now, in my opinion. So again, what's cool about Kopi is they're building a world in which through non-fungible tokens, meaning you own a specific asset ID number, you can own in-game assets that you can then synergize and play with in the game. Very sexy, right? So it's not just the moose getting loose, it's the team over at Cornucopias. So if we take a look here, um, let's look at the land specifically. So we'll start out with that. When I think about Cornucopias, it's cool because you know, you're gonna have Solus, you're gonna have Esperanza. Going forward, you will be able to build using your land and claim your specific area going forward. So we don't have all the details on that, but that's not as important. So if you want, you can connect your NAMI or a wallet. So here you can buy very swiftly and it will go in your wallet. So here is one of my wallets. I've been busy picking up some Kopi, a little bit of meld, moving it to meld. So here you can see some land. I've got a small dome rare and I have a large rare. I really like this and I would potentially like to invite you guys to, um, I don't know, throw a party in the dome with me. Um, that would be really cool in the future in the metaverse. So that is going to be for the small land plot. If we take a look at the other ones, what I think is really cool are these custom domes. So with the custom domes, you'll be able to battle, I believe it is. These are going up in price right now. If you take a look at these NFTs specifically, what you will notice is that there are commons, there are uncommons, there is rare, and then there is legendary, and then mythic, I believe it is. So depending on which land rarity you have, it will offer different benefits. That will be, for example, um, yield for when you are staking. It will also give you access to early game development, depending on which land you have. So remember, nothing in this video should be taken as financial advice. I'm not telling you to pick one up, but check it out. And these are some of the reasons why I'm bullish. I cannot think of another project that looks like this, that is going to be at this scale. So um, that's something that I've been eyeing out for a long time. So if we scroll down, you can see small legendary. These are going to cost more because I believe you will also be able to claim first if you're like a mythic, then it's legendary, then rares can go um, uncommon, then common. So it's a strategic point to note that if you pick up a mythic, they are going to be rare. So that's where NFTs are very powerful as well. So here we got the bubble jets. I love these things, the exact same thing. You can search by rarity. You can find a mythic bubble jet. 
Um, and if you're an OG, you have some nice ones as well. I believe I have a rare one. It's the white one. Yep. So I do have one of these. So yeah, guys, check them out and you can test them out. You can pick up this NFT, use it in the game. So a very powerful thing. And if we go back to the website, let's go to the sale. So there have already been a couple of sales. So I'm going to re-log in to my account and let's go over some of the nodes. When you're picking up NFTs with Cornucopias, you're gonna to wanna to go to nft.cornucopias.io and you will see what is currently being minted, what is for sale. So if you go to sale, this is for the Cardano file nodes and I've done more in-depth videos on the channel about this. So here I can register for upcoming tiers. Already with Cardano, we've gone through five tiers of sales. So every tier, it's going to cost a little bit more. So I recommend if you do wanna pick up a node that you pick one up early. So none of these have been distributed yet. So until we have a system in place where we can do that, um, I'm sure I will cover it on the channel. So if I go to the top here under orders, I minted uh, seven of these. So I do have details here. So you can see uh, my transaction costs. I paid 470 ADA per node for this and 460 at the beginning. So these are nodes that break up our large game file into small chunks, which allows for a much faster download time for the end user while making the download more stable as the node are distributed. So definitely a really cool way to participate in the ecosystem and that's going to be the file node. So stay tuned on the channel, I'm gonna be covering more videos as more tiers open up. Next, we're gonna look at the community. So what I like to do when I'm looking up a project is to look at the website. So we've done that. Cornucopias has a stunning website. It's been revamped um, from the initial one as well. So with the player account and the fact that you can mint your NFTs through nft.cornucopias.io, very cool, very swift, works great. Um, so what I like to look at is the Twitter page. So I'm going to go to my Twitter and I'm going to type in Kopi. So this is where you want to go to research projects, check out, you know, do they have some followers? So Cornucopias does indeed. So if we take a look here, um, it is at Cornucopias game. So they have the check mark. Um, that's the logo you'll see. So they have 52,000 followers. This number is going up. So on top of that, you guys can also go to YouTube and I recommend checking out Kopi Cafe. So if you guys want go to YouTube, you can type in Kopi under this channel, check out all the previous videos, but I do recommend that you check out the Kopi Cafe episodes. So here we're going to type in Kopi Cafe. So go here, Cornucopia's game and check out these episodes. So Rob and Josh, these two guys, um, they talk about their project, kind of what is going on when there's a land grab, land sale, whatever it may be, that's where you wanna be. So YouTube can be big as well. So if we take a look here, and also with Cornucopias, they recently got their token on some new exchanges as well. So some centralized exchanges. So here you want to you know, follow what's going on. So check out Cornucopia's page. Um, so recently there was the BitTrue. So this was an official announcement as well. So BitTrue is a huge online exchange. So this will bring on more people um, as well. So you got that, you've got the Twitter, right? YouTube and the Discord. So you want to get into the Discord. The Discord is where you can connect your wallet. You can get your roles. So Definitely do that. And what I like to do is I like to check out in the spotlight. This is recent videos that have come out. So you might see the moose here down the road. Um, you've got your general discussion. So people just chat about different things, ask questions. So here you can ask your questions and you can do your daily corn claim. So here you're going to go in and put, I believe it's daily. Moose hasn't done this in a little bit. So here's my daily reward. And then here I could put, I think it's coins. So I have 5,800 coins. So really cool. Um, so that's what I recommend you do. Get in the Discord. 
um, get your roles going. So if we take a look here, this is Crypto Moose. Here you can see that I have different roles. So land, deed holder, bubble jet sprinter, uh, Valley Raceworks T3, custom dome holder, bobblehead holder, copy holder, cheeky racer holder, cornucopian. So the moose is loose and that's just evidence right there. So definitely cornucopias has a wonderful community. Now's a good time to get into future developments. So if we go to about game and we're gonna go to roadmap. So roadmap will give you a roadmap of what is to come. So what is great about cornucopias is like meld, like other projects that I've been following for a while, they have been crushing it. They've been doing and achieving what they said they would do. Um, not everything's perfect, right? But everything has been basically addressed. So I've been impressed by Kopi. So if we take a look, I'm gonna scroll down. Look at 2022. This is about when I was first looking at the project back here. Look at this, everything in green. This is being completed. They've been checking off everything. So right now we are March 27th of 2024. Again, today we are March 27th, 2024. So this project has a lot of potential. So if we take a look here, 2024 PC game and website updates. So YouTube ongoing weekly episodes, Kopi Cafe, 100%. Pre-alpha 2024 releases, January public testing, release Apex public testing, host and earn Kopi game nodes. So I've witnessed that I bought a few nodes, uh, minted them, so that's really cool. Uh, public events, so what's coming up in the near future is going to be the character creator, public testing, pre-alpha world, travel flying systems. And over here we have flying vehicle F9R, that's on the base chain. So a lot of opportunities, not just for Cardano, enthusiasts, but also for people that want to use base and to get on other chains as well. So this game is dominating um, everything in that sense. So release four, Solus one, public testing. So tons and tons and tons to come. Um, and if you scroll down here, there's even more for continuous evolution, custom domes in 2025, 2026. So a lot of potential here. And definitely if you guys wanna pick up some tokens, you can pick some up on Dex Hunter if you're using Cardano, you can pick some up on you know, all the exchanges that they've recently announced. So make sure to follow and stay tuned with the updates. So I believe that this token will be available on more centralized exchanges going forward as well. That brings us to the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed this. If you guys get something out of this, smash the like button, subscribe, comment, whatever questions you have down below, I may be able to answer them for you. If you guys want, I do have links for you to save up to 25% off a Trezor, a Ledger, a Tangem. So we have different hardware wallets. If you hold uh, some Kopi tokens or whatever it may be, that's the one way that you can you know, protect your assets. So using cold storage is the best method for that. So yeah, do your own research. I'm extremely bullish on Kopi. As you've seen, I've made my pitch for why I believe this is the ultimate and only crypto gaming project that I'm invested in. So that being said, the moose is loose. We'll see you in the next one.